Hey, Rachel. Burning the midnight oil over here. But I think we're going to make it. <laughs> so, let's see. I was, I was so surprised to read that you had candy from last year. Like, what? How do you save candy? Okay, so here's where you said you think you're missing something when you're editing. But you like these better than the last. Okay, we're going to come back to your contact sheet in just a minute. Let's look at your faves. So, I mean, this just looks like a, I don't know, something a kid would be, would be so excited to see, you know? got all different kinds of candy that I like and you tried to make your background fun and colorful and then I think you have a black backdrop back here right so I think this one is kind of fun um, I like what's going on with all the things in a row and the shallow depth of field and jeez, um, oh I wonder what is that watermelon flavor <laughs> but I think that your clarity is here as far as I can tell so I don't know if this all of this blurred out part is um, is necessary so if I were going to crop this photo, I think I would, you know, still maybe include the face of this character and then maybe down, maybe down to, I don't know, here or something like that might be a little bit better because it seems like there's um, um, some kind of glare of light happening over here. Do you see that? It looks like a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like lighter and blurrier than the rest of the image. So, good try cropping that one. And then this one. I think your most interesting part is you know again like in the middle so I think I would crop away a few things hmm. it's kind of hard to choose I do like um, you know all, all these are in a row and it's like close you know a little further away a little further away so they, we have a differentiation in sizes and we've got some interesting colors here you might want to paint over that line whatever that is there I think it might be a tag but the bunnies are really cute eggs are really colorful I like um, how the background looks here and here just I think some parts that we don't really need I don't know about this guy in the, in the foreground being so blurred out, but you could experiment with this one. I do like the picture. Okay, now we're getting in more simple, which I think I prefer. I like seeing the shine on the chocolate. I like the three bunnies. Um, but again, I, I guess it's just light coming on, onto the scene because it seems like light here and then we've got some light going on over here. So this is another case of maybe crop. And if you wanted to fix up this area, you could um, use the color picker in Photoshop, which looks like a little medicine dropper and just click on your dark area here and then if you hit uh, select select subject then um, 
then inverse, then you should be able to play with this area without touching the rabbits. And then just get a big brush and paint this out with that dark color. And if, like I said, uh, like I always say, <laughs> if you need a tutorial for that, I'm happy to do it for you. Just let me know. Okay, now this one, we got a lot of light coming in. And that's a little sad because I like the arrangement. Okay, here, hmm. Not sure about this one. This may be too far of a of a profile. You know, it's I think he's turned away too far to figure out what's happening. And then this looks like a little chocolate bum. <laughs> it's a bunny bum. But yeah, it just feels like it's all like maybe out of the frame a little bit. This one, I'm, um, I'm getting too much going on in the background, and yeah, this is like the only area that's really clear. There's just like a really shallow bit of clarity there. Hmm. I kind of like how this is kind of curving up to the peeps, the stuffed peeps, the stuffies as the kids say at school. Um, but I think this one could definitely be cropped as well. We don't really need this. And then you could maybe paint out this little part here. This one I think it's, you know, could have been something, but it, it's just too low of an angle to know what this is, really. I mean, you can probably guess what it is, but I think it's just like um, a little bit off composition-wise. And then this one I do like. Again, I think I would crop just to make, you know, symmetry your game here. Because you do have some symmetry going on. I mean, not everything is symmetrical, that's okay. But I think this is one of your best. Okay, let's take a look at that contact sheet. Alrighty, here we go with your contact sheet. Uh, let's see, I'm going to move myself out of the way a little bit here. I mean, I do like this image. It's odd not knowing what this might be. Like here, we need some reference to what this might be for this image to work, I believe. And then that one is one of the ones that has all that light. That's kind of blurring things out. And this one I do like, but I don't know if it's clear enough. Like this bunny back here is clear, and pardon me if I've talked about one of these images already. I think I have talked about most of them, so I'm just double checking here. I mean, this is fun. It's cute. Um, the close-up peep is really the only thing that bothers me. Just because, you know, it's like a shallow depth of field. But I don't think, you know, you could pull this picture off without that reference. Okay, this one I know we talked about. And yet, 
Yes, this one is one of your best for sure. Got some things to crop out. And this one would be a little no for me. This one, perhaps you could experiment with cropping. I think we talked about that one. I think this one has too much light coming in. You know, it's taken away the clarity a little too much. Yeah, I do like this one. I do like, you know, all the rows, the rows of objects, the rows of color, you know, the patterns. This part is a little bit too blurry, so I'm not sure if you want to try and crop that one. This one again, we've got that, you know, that weird faded out from the light, faded out area. It's also got that blur. This one I just think, you know, we're missing things here. It's hard to tell what it, what the peep is when you can't see any more details, you know? And then your bunny, you know, somebody is biting his head off the edge of the, the scene. And this one we also have, again, some objects that we can't quite tell what's going on. Okay, did I really go through all of them that fast? Oh, we needed to go this way, didn't we? Okay, this one had, it's got a background issue there, over here, and I think, you know, our, our main bunny <laughs> is chopped off a little bit there. Okay, this one I do kind of like. But we do have a little bit of a background problem here. And we've got some of that light blur here. So again, I mean, there's some parts of the image that are usable. You know, they're not too blurred out by the light. I do like this one. That's cute. Let's see. Make sure it's seeing the whole picture. I mean, in this case, this part, you might be able to clear, you know, increase clarity and contrast to make these look less like a blurry area. And then I think that's it. All right, so, okay. If you're gonna do candy photography as your personal choice, or, you know, you would call it still life, I believe. Um, because all of these images that you have captured for this assignment are 
a very similar arrangement just from you know different angles I think that you know at best you could only select one or two and then you'll have to have um, other you know I would you know, stick with the candy idea I mean the candy idea is fun um, my preference would be that you had just one of these your very best and then do two more um, different candy arrangements and um, and then you could have a, 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 a category called you know candy so or still life slash candy so I mean we've got potential here to move forward and I think that you probably see where I'm going with this um, with my suggestions there was a lot of um, patterning and similarities and um, you know things in rows things that are stacked um, so things like that and and you want to vary the different photos with different objects so for like example if you still had this this um, bunch of candy here there could be one that's just all of these colorful eggs right you know in a dish and just get really close to it and then you know you just have this kind of random pattern um, same with you know maybe some of the peeps you could arrange them in a pattern you know get really close um, try to make it as interesting as possible and then you know these bunnies could be twins or you know just a little grouping with just those so those are my ideas and um, if you have any questions or you know you're not sure where to go from here like that wasn't enough feedback for you just you know let me know text me send me a message and we can get this we can talk about this and get it figured out together okay all right rachel you have a good night i'll talk to you soon bye bye